Let's get spiritual, metaphysical, as a collective and individuals. I just came up with that. Everything that's happening, right? We're, we're about to enter a spiritual age, and everything that's happening now is right on track. And yes, there are growing pains. So, what am I talking about here? I'm talking about humanity and, in essence, Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Is it, is it Maslow? I believe it's Maslow. Right? So, at the top of that pyramid of needs, is spirituality and the top of that connects to the bottom it's all connected right so because society has reached a point where taking care of our survival needs food shelter clothing clothing has become so doable it has left humanity with the time the thought to consider why are we here? What is the point after survival? Is it just about chasing physical, biological needs? What do we do now? Is it about getting famous? Is it about these superficial things? I think the reason why we have a lot of people acting out is because deep down, they don't know, they don't have an answer as to why, what to do after survival. They don't have great bliss in their life. They don't have great harmony. They don't have great enjoyment for some reason. True, deep, fulfilling enjoyment. Okay, doing like partying every day. And, you know, getting drunk all the time is not is not going to bring this deep bliss that makes you have this verve, this joy to joy to verve for life, this great love, bliss and excitement for life. I, I wake up actually so excited Every morning, I mean, I don't necessarily need to jump up and say, hey, but when I wake up, I can't wait to do the things that I'm going to do to do my creations, whatever it is, to even just eat breakfast. I wake up excited every day. I go to sleep excited every night. I can't wake up. I can't wait to wake up the next day. And I don't really want to stop what I'm doing to go to sleep because I'm having so much fun doing the things that, that, that I'm into, which is essentially creating, eating, walking, hanging out with friends, watching movies, exercising. I love it all. I love Mostly the creating, that really is what gets me super excited, but just everything I love. And every day I'm so inspired. Now, I'm not, I'm not trying to, to brag. I'm just, that's just my life. No, it's not perfect. And yes, you know, life is not meant to be always easy. Point I'm trying to make here is that's what you want. You want some great meaning that's true, that's authentic, and that's deeply fulfilling for your reality, for your existence. And modern humanity, modern society is really seeking that right now. And it can come out in different ways that are not really hitting the target of what people need, but they're kind of fulfilling it, giving their life a greater spiritual meaning so that's what we're doing right now. That is the evolution of the current humanity more than ever before. And we have more distractions ever before for those time for you know for people that maybe they they don't have 
the great meaning, but you're so busy with distractions, you know, trying to cover up that emptiness inside. I mean, you see, you, you see anything negative? What does that come from? That comes from emptiness inside. And for some people, that emptiness may just be that moment or that emptiness is reflective of their entire lives. What am I trying to say? This is also the greatest opportunity. This can be the greatest blossoming of humankind. The fruit of which will be going to a higher level, a higher, better, more evolved, more harmonious, not just society, but reality. And we can do it. Don't feed the negativity. Don't be the negativity. Accept the negativity. Hold some space for it. Focus on the positive. Create the positive. Be the positive. Roll with the negativity. It's, gonna, it's always going to be there. You just handle it best you can. And really what makes the heroes, the real superheroes, is how you can handle adversity and still keep the integrity of your own soul. A great, spiritual, beautiful awakening is, is right here on the precipice. If enough of us do our inner work and heal ourselves, healthy self equals heal thyself.